Hi everyone, it's Kira here in Platinum Travel. Today I'm going to talk to you about fly drive holidays in the USA. Platinum Travel specializes in tailor-made holidays all over the USA. We create itineraries to suit our clients' individual requirements and no two trips are the same. So depending on your budget and what your needs are, we can put together the perfect tailor-made fly drive. We have a couple of things that we would always ask clients to bear in mind when you're weighing up taking a fly drive holiday. Many of you are already coming to us for 2019 and so for some of you it's your first trip, for some of you it's your 10th trip and the same criteria really applies at the very start when you're weighing it up. First thing you have to consider is weather. So we've got 50 states in the US and of course the weather varies greatly depending on where you're going to stay. So you've got the very very north snow in the winter, you've got the very hot sun in the south in the, in the summer and then of course you've got hurricane season which is everything we all know about at the moment coming down that east coast and of course a little bit further inside. So consider your weather, consider the time of year you're going and make sure that you do your best to avoid any weather that's going to hinder your trip second thing you need to consider is how long you're going to go for and how many places you want to visit. So if you're going for two weeks, we would recommend you possibly take five to six destinations, possibly seven, depending on how long you want to spend. We don't want you coming back saying, well, I had a great trip and I you know, hit a load of destinations, but I didn't see anything because I spent so much time in the car. You need to get your destination by lunchtime, relax, enjoy it, and then the next day you can pick up your car and head off or a couple of days later. The next thing after that that we recommend is considering the people that are going and is it a family? Is it a couple? Is it a bucket list? Is it a honeymoon? What are you trying to achieve on this trip? We do find that families are more and more and more with older children kind of age 10 and upwards are taking to the US and taking to the road trips. California, East Coast, Florida, outside Orlando, there's so much there on offer. It could be this perfect honeymoon for somebody who really wants something active or it could be somebody who always wanted to go on a motorbike on Route 66. So look at the people who are going and see what the needs of each person is and we can make sure that they're all accomplished while you're there. Finally, the last thing you need to consider and the most important thing of course is your budget. So every trip can have a different budget so you can go all out and do five star luxury all the way or you can just take your three star accommodation and maybe have a treat at the start and a treat at the end you can stay in resort type hotels you can also stay in beautiful beautiful guest houses in new england you can stay in um, a, you know a big house on the plantation down in the southern states some amazing really historic properties all over the usa that have a little bit of history and a little bit of um, interest behind them so again consider where you want to to stay do you want a big car a small car a convertible there's lots of little elements there to consider but we would say have a look at those talk to us about them and we can help you along the way so it's your weather your duration who's going your budget and then we'll get the perfect itinerary for you so direct message us give us a call email us and we'd look after you and uh, help you with 2019 fly drive thanks everyone